Today, we're in Lisbon. Subscribe to follow along. So since we last left you guys in Exeter, we've actually been in Portugal for almost two weeks with Keith's family, mm -hmm. taking in the wonderful family time. We've been on vacation with them. <laughs> Honestly, it's been so nice. We started down south in the Algarve for about a week there and then... With little niece and nephew as yeah. well, two and five months. Mm -hmm. So it's just... Also very busy. Just a good good kids. family time we've had mm -hmm. and it was, yeah, really busy. And then we moved up to the Sintra area, which is another beautiful spot outside of Lisbon. I used to live in Cascais when I was a kid and so that's why we come here in Portugal as a family. We've been doing that the last few years. Cheers. 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 But we did make sure we had a few extra days because I've never been to Lisbon before. And I don't really remember going as a kid, to be honest. Yeah, so, so this is us exploring on our own. Yeah, and we wanted to see our first impressions of this place because Lisbon seems to be the place everybody's going to around the world. Okay, quickly, we'll be doing a food tour, but this is not the video. We will begin with food. The pastel de Belém, which is the inventor of the pastel de nata, yeah. which is this Portuguese tart right here. And it always has a line, like always has lines. So we lined up so Keith could get one of these. Sadly, I can't have them because they're not gluten free. Yeah. I've had my share of these in my day, and on this this trip with my parents, I've definitely had a lot. But uh, this one's quite unique. Great way to start our tour of downtown. Let's get exploring Lisbon. Today is actually a Saturday and it definitely shows because of the line behind me. We are not going to go into the monastery but the outside of it is stunning and Lisbon in general has just kind of like popped off and is on the map for both digital nomads but then also in general for travelers. So I'm curious to see how busy downtown Lisbon is going to be because this is kind of outside downtown and look at the line to get into this monastery. We haven't seen lines like this in a very long time. Very long. So this monastery is said to have been the origin place of the Pastel de Belém, right? So Which the, is the pastry key just The monks actually started making them uh, when there was a sugarcane refinery. Yeah, it's right there. Anyhow, we're gonna go to another major site here in Lisbon, the Monument of Discovery. We're sitting down here and I'm holding my hat because it's windy here at the Padrão dos Descobrimentos, which means the Monument of the Discoveries. It was built here to celebrate the age of discovery, the 15th, 16th century here in Portugal. As we know, Portuguese explorers went to India, the East, China, and they left from here, from this, this, this spot right here as well. It's really cool, that's why it's windy. It is sense. a beautiful spot here in the water. On the Tagus River. Boats go by, cruise ships, and it's a Saturday, so everyone's out, there's music in the background. It's actually lovely. It's really nice. So it's a must when you come here. I touched it! So this behind us is the Tour de Belen, and that is actually where the explorers left from. It's a 16th century fortification and it is known as the gateway to Lisbon. Because one way is going towards the ocean and the other towards Lisbon. It's our lucky day. The tide is low, which means we can walk to it. That's so, so cool. So we can touch it. Oh wow, what a day. Ready? Yep. 16th century fortification, touch, check. Cool. Well, 
Well, it was a lovely tram ride, more expensive than the train, surprisingly, yeah. to get from Keshkaish to Lisboa, which is Three like a one hour, one hour train ride. Yeah, so the trams are more expensive. Anyhow, we're in Praça Comércio, which is the big square in downtown Lisbon. We're about to walk in at Old Town. And after two weeks of being in the countryside, honestly, we're not used to this many people. Yeah, we've been in like in small towns. We're lost. And so it's been it's been nice. We're not used to the, the crowds. But this is a very gorgeous. This is my first time ever here, and it is a very stunning square. It's beautiful. So behind me, as you can tell, there's a beautiful arch. It is Rua Augusta Arch. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And it was constructed in the 18th century to commemorate the earthquake that destroyed the city in 1755, it said. And so this is um, uh, to like show the reconstruction of the city. So for those that don't know, in 1755, there was like a massive earthquake here in Lisbon and it wrecked everything. And like thousands of people died, tens of thousands of people died. Um, it was also on uh, All Saints Day, which is the day after Halloween. And so there were lots of candles, and then that led to fires, and there was a tsunami. So it was it was a wreck, um, really devastating uh, period in time in Lisbon history. I actually didn't know that. That's really really sad. Yep. But this arch is commemorating the reconstruction, so it's like hopeful, positive thinking. All right, let's cross into the tiny streets. at the Lisbon Cathedral. Which is the oldest cathedral or church here in Lisbon. And it's stunning. It kind of reminds me of like a petite Notre Dame, maybe? It was built in 1147, which makes it 877 years old. That's amazing. Obviously, it it's survived amazing. earthquakes, but it's been renovated, rebuilt, and redesigned many times. It's kind of stuff. Only, I honestly only in Europe, eh? didn't realize that Lisbon had so many beautiful historical buildings, to be, oh, very, yeah. to be honest. The Portuguese Empire, baby. Yeah, wow. Just thrived. Arrived and it's honestly it's starving now. Digital nomadism and all. Everyone's coming to Portugal to work remotely. That is true. And then travel like us. We made it to the old town and we just have this beautiful lookout that we're seeing the old town and the water. And Keith and I have now been on the road for three and a bit months and whenever we are on the road, we use Safety Wing, which is travel medical insurance and it is so crucial for us to have when we're traveling. It's a great price for us. It's very flexible and exactly what we need. So whether you are coming to Lisbon because you're traveling short term or you wanna do some digital nomading, we would definitely recommend Safe Doing. We have a link below if you're interested in getting it. And yeah, we're just gonna enjoy this view and then keep walking because we've already walked 13 kilometers today, people. And our legs obviously need a little break. That's why we're taking a seat. <laughs> Here we are at Miraduro Portas do Sol, which is a uh, lookout here in downtown Lisbon. Also, I just have to say, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Keith's Portuguese accent is pretty good. It's there. I understand quite a bit because I did uh, take Portuguese classes when I was a kid here. Um, but man, my speaking is minimal. I, I, got, us, I got us food though earlier. Like I can order and I can do the simple basic stuff. Uh, it's a very beautiful, beautiful city, that's for sure. Beautiful and country. It's also really cool because we've seen a lot of like bachelor and bachelorettes and just, it's a lot of people here on holidays just enjoying themselves, which is really nice to see happy people. Yeah. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Lisbon is really cool, um, but Portugal and small towns have more to offer. And yeah. this is our impressions. Like some people might like city life better, but again, this is our honest impressions of and Having been exposed to little surrounding towns and have traveled, like I've traveled around the country with my parents, and we have in the last few summers when my parents on vacation here. All that being said, I like the small towns here in Portugal. It's really nice. Portugal is a very special country for sure. Maps, man. Where are we going next? Well, 
We actually have a time constraint because we're meeting an old friend who we're staying with uh, who's actually famous in Portugal. We're meeting him for dinner, so we actually don't have that much time, so we have to sort of turn around now. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the sun's setting right behind, it's hard to see this, but this is a stunning view of Lisbon. Like you can see the whole city. You realize it's a city. So when you're walking through the streets, sometimes it's hard to tell because you're like these little tiny streets. We were just also in the old town. But when you come up here, you realize how big the city is. And it's also very beautiful. Wow. Debbie, getting cold? Yeah, I didn't bring my jacket, so he's letting me wear it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so Lisbon is amazing, and our time down here right now is ending. Because it's going to be dinner time. I'm going to have to hop into but my I buddy's car. I was going to say how grand it is. I just wanted to point that out. There is so much beautiful architecture in the city, and it is very walkable if you're okay with hills. It is a beautiful city, but I will say, now I'm never usually like this. I like the outskirts more. I love Kishkaish, where I used to live in Sintra area. That's where it's at. That being said, we've just entered a beautiful little market street. It's stunning, and right now, because the way the flowers are blooming, the trees are all blue and beautiful. This is really cute. Yeah, this is really nice. Like, Keith is a bit biased because he did live in Kishkaish, and I'm also a bit biased because I grew up in a small town, so we do like smaller towns better, but this is a very nice city. No, it's a lovely city. Portugal, you also have to love the cobblestone streets everywhere. Also, this is all done by hand. It's incredible. It's, it's an art. Honest truth, I'm surprised by how big and sort of like grand Lisbon is mm -hmm. truthfully because I didn't I don't know this Lisbon mm -hmm. that much mm -hmm. And so the conclusion is it's amazing. You can have all the food fancy restaurants amazing museums and sites But if you're further out of Lisbon area into Kishkaish and Sintra you get more nature Yeah, there's you beautiful get beautiful walks. There's beautiful coast, coastal views, right? There's even trees and mountainous areas. There's still historic sites tons of historic sites little mm -hmm. quaint towns like sprinkled in the area that are actually accessible from Lisbon like, by train. And also literally uh, between 30 and 40, 50 minute drive. All of these things are accessible, which yeah. is really awesome. Yeah, like half an hour or so. No, just like the, the variety that's just, that's really close by is, is quite nice. And it's really quaint in the nature and the coast and the ocean. So I guess it depends what you personally are interested in. And this is just our thoughts. On yeah, I'm, I'm blown away by how, how vast and and rich Lisbon is. It's rich in history. I mean, this you can tell Portugal and was wealthy. There's a lot of detail in everything here. Yeah. Very really, cool. really in, like blown away, sort of. Like, I, I didn't expect this at all from Lisbon. And now we're gonna enjoy this lovely little sunset before dinner with our pop. So, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in our food tour video, which I'm very excited about. Coming up next. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Watching.